Hello everyone, it's me Jacob, and today I'll be showing you my 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 money can. So yeah. So this money can. Yeah. This actually used to be a coffee can. Yeah, it used to be a coffee can. But then I decided to customize it into and give it some pizzazz. That way so it would be that way so it could be turned into a money can. So yeah. And yeah, this used to be a, a coffee can, but, you know, I just customized it and gave it some pizzazz so it can be turned into a money can, because I'm thinking I could use this to keep money in, you know, so whenever I get, like, money and stuff, or stuff, I could use this can to keep it in, so, yeah, and this, this actually used to have money in it, but I took the money out because I didn't want it to make a sound while I'm doing this review, so... Yeah. And, and yeah, I basically turned this into a money can about two months ago, I believe. Yeah, I think it was two months ago when I did that. And, you know, I found the can in the kitchen. And when I looked inside, yeah, there was a bit of coffee in it. And so I figured if I washed it out, I'd use it as a money can. Of course, I asked my mom about it. And she was okay with the idea. So, I I got to use it as a money can. So basically what I did was just, you know, wash it out. And make sure it was dry. Alright, sorry sorry about that, guys. I had to do something. Anyways, yeah. I turned this, this coffee can into a money can. So anyways, without talking, without, well, enough, enough talking, let's start the review. So yeah. So, first things first, I basically just, you know, found the can in the kitchen, and I washed it out, because when I looked inside, there was a bit of coffee in there. Yep, it did have a bit of coffee inside the can. So, I washed all the coffee out, and I dried it all, and I dried it up, to make sure there was no water left over. So, yeah. You know, because I needed to make sure it was dry. That way, so, you know, any dollars and, and coins won't get wet. When I put them inside, and after it was dry, I was ready to start customizing it. So yeah, and basically I just used uh, some black construction paper. So yep, I did use black construction paper, and I glued them into the sides so I could have two blue, two black stripes. So yeah, and then I glued some yellow construction paper in the middle. So yep, I did glue some construction. Some yellow construction paper in the middle. And I basically just wrote Jacob's money can on there. So yep, I did write it on there. That way so people know that it's my money can. So yeah. And then I just cut out some blue construction paper. And I put it here. That way so I can have two blue stripes as well. Because I just thought that would look pretty cool. So yeah. Yep, so I did glue some blue construction paper on there. You know, onto that yellow construction paper. Still could have two blue stripes as well. I just thought that would look cool. At least on this side. I didn't do it on the back though. So, yeah. And then I basically just cut out some blue, some pieces of orange construction paper. And I glued them to the, to the sides. That way so I can have some orange on it. Since I, I do love the color orange, just like I love the color blue, which is why I wanted to include the blue stripes. So yeah. But yeah, I just cut out two, uh, some, some orange, uh, rectangles, and I glued them here. That way so I can have some orange on it, because I just thought that would look cool. So yeah. Then I did put some yellow construction paper here, you know, just to cover up any, any parts that... <coughs> Sorry guys, I had to clear my throat, but yeah, I just put some yellow construction paper here to cover up any spots that weren't covered before, so yeah. Yeah, just need to do that. And then last but not least, I made this little dollar bill here, and I glued it right, and I glued it right there. I basically just cut out a piece of green construction paper, and I wrote United States on there, and one dollar. And that's supposed to be, like, uh, George Washington and a bunch of other stuff. 
<laughs> I just thought it'd be cool to put, to make a little uh, US dollar and glue it right there. I guess to indicate that this is a money can and you can put dollars inside as well as coins. So yeah. <laughs> I just thought that would be cool to do. So yeah. Yeah, so I did make this money can about two months ago, I believe. Because if I ever get some money, I would need somewhere to keep it in. So I thought, why not keep it in a money can? And, <clears throat> yeah. And I used a coffee can because I thought that'd be a good place to keep money in. <clears throat> and obviously, <clears throat> yeah. And obviously, I wanted to turn it into something, to, into something that would look really good. So I thought I'd turn it into a money can, and I gave it lots of colors, so it, it would have lots of pizzazz, and it would look go and it would look really good, you know, instead of boring and plain. So yeah. And I basically just used a pen to, you know, write that stuff on there, and I glued it on. And once it was done, and once it was glued on there, it was completely done. So yeah. And of course I had to wait for the glue to dry. You know, before actually seeing it was done. But once all the glue was dry, it was completely done. And now, I can keep money in this. So yeah. And yeah, even though I did make this two months ago, I decided to show it to you today, because... I don't know, I just thought it'd be cool to show it to you. So yeah. Anyways, I think that's about it for this review. So, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. On my custom money can and if you enjoyed this review make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new and yep that's about it for this review on my custom money can so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in another video so yeah so yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow with the first episode of season 2 of Rick and Friends so yeah Bye, everyone.